Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am actually going to be trying something very different. I've never done anything like this before. And I'm actually going to start playing Hogwarts Legacy and I'm going to be streaming it as well. And I'm not a gamer, I'm not a streamer. I'm not really the type of person who usually creates this kind of content. So I'm a little bit nervous. Please be very kind to me because I'm not good at gaming. And this is going to be my first time sort of doing anything like this. So yeah. But I'm a huge Harry Potter fan, so it only seemed right to try out Hogwarts Legacy. So I am going to be bringing you along with me. If you enjoy this kind of content, hit the subscribe button, drop us a like down below for trying something new. And yeah, let's just get straight into it. My boyfriend has borrowed me his PlayStation. We're going to be playing some Hogwarts Legacy together. How exciting. I have played a little bit before, um, but I'm going to be starting fresh today. I'm going to be taking you through the whole process. And yeah, let's see. I just know this is going to be so magical and I'm so excited for this because I'm so excited to customise. I'm actually so excited to customise my character, it's going to be so sick. Yes, I am drinking a basic bitch Starbucks. Oh! Oh my god, yes, finally, guys, it's finally happening. Oh my god, it's finally happening. I'm officially getting my letter to Hogwarts. We are pleased to inform you that you've been accepted at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry as a fifth year student. Term begins on the 1st of September. Preliminary supplies have been collected for you and will accompany you on your journey to the castle. Guys, stop. As you may be aware, the decree for the reasonable restriction of underage sorcery prohibits the use of magic by those under the age of 17 outside of school. However, due to your unique circumstances, the Ministry has graciously agreed to allow Professor Eleazar Fig to help you to help you hone your spellcasting before escorting you from London to the castle for the start of term feast and the sorting ceremony. Yours sincerely, Professor Weasley. Let's freaking start. Okay. Let's make Katie Wooten. What are the oh these are just presets. Okay, I would like to customize Quite aggressively um we'll have her as a preset right okay what this face wear okay cool face wear oh the size of my face okay my face shape now i'm not gonna go for like exactly this is this is what i'm really excited for by the way i'm not gonna go exactly for like what i look like i'm not gonna try and like recreate me but I may try and get her like a little bit close to me. I feel like she, the, the first one actually looks quite similar to me in terms of like no shape, lip shape. But I do have a bit more of a, a bit more of a cupid's bow, so maybe, mm. okay cool, skin colour. I'm pretty tanned at the moment, so, um, is that too tanned? No. Um. I'll go for that. I feel like that's kind of like. I mean, you can't tell because I look quite pale on the camera, but that's just my makeup. Glasses. I do wear glasses, obviously, but do I. You know what? I don't think I will wear glasses. In this world, I have good vision because Oculus Repair all. Hairstyle. Okay, so we need quite long and thick hair here if you want it to be representative of me. Hmm. <laughs> oh, that's a bit. It's a bit much. It's a bit no, I've also got the dilemma soon as well of choosing which Hogwarts house I want to be in and I'm a Gryffindor and through and through like I fully like fit the Gryffindor. Actually hold on, I just need to concentrate here because I'm just going back and forth. Um, hair colour. Okay, let's change the colour first. Maybe that will help me to decide the style. I think I want to go for a red maybe oh we've had a purple i'm gonna go back to that the pink is sick i like the pink a lot mm. oh, 
I like the purple look. You know what? I'm gonna go for purple because I low key wish I had purple hair in real life. Okay, um. I wonder if you can customize the hairstyle any more than this. It looks like you can, doesn't it? You know what? We'll go with this. Keep it off her face. Do you know what I mean? She needs she needs a hair out of her face so she can do all the all the bad bitch stuff that she's gonna be doing. And we'll go for purple because purple is my favourite colour. Um, wait, let me just double check. Let me just double check that I don't want any other hairstyle. That's a bit. Mm. Okay, that's cute. I'll go for that actually. I should have just turned around. Um, complexion. Okay, you can turn back around, girl. I actually really like her hair like this. To be fair, cute. Um, complexion. Complexione. I get quite red cheeks, I think. So maybe we'll give her like a little bit of a rosy cheek. That's kind of cute. I need you to face me more. Okay, thanks, son. But anyways, sorry. As I was saying, so I know that soon I'm gonna have to choose whether what house I want to be, what Hogwarts house I want to get sorted into. Um, and I am a Gryffindor. Sorry about me moving this around so willy nilly. I am a Gryffindor, but I know that if you choose Hufflepuff, I think it's Hufflepuff. Um, you actually get to go on a quest to Azkaban, and I would love to do that. But at the same time. I want to keep it like kind of true to like me so I think if they give me the choice I would opt for Gryffindor um, another close one would be Ravenclaw because I feel like I always get Ravenclaw as well as like a secondary house scars and markings do I want a cool scar I know my boyfriend has given himself an eyebrow scar which looks kind of cool okay it's giving Miles Teller vibes because he has a cool scar on his face. Um, I think I'll have no scars because I don't have any scars in real life on my face. So we'll we'll opt we'll opt for no scars. Eye colour. So we're gonna do blue because I'm I have blue eyes. Oh, there's some cool options here though. You can actually look like, choose quite a lot of things. So fair play. We're gonna have white eyebrows. That white, that kind of sick. Genuinely. Um, my eyebrows, they're like dark brown, aren't they? I don't know why I'm doing some aspects of this like accurate and then I'm giving myself purple hair, but <laughs> why not? It's giving bad bitch. It's giving bad bitch. I don't know if any of you have watched Love Island lately, but the song that Whitney and Ty did was in my head constantly. It's giving bad bitch. I can be a bloody and a lady. Don't do shit. You know what? Yeah, I feel like maybe that will do because I've got dark brows. Um, my brow shape. Mine are quite thick in the middle. Um, Definitely need a thick brow. Mm. You know what? I'll go with that just because I feel like they just look nice on, on her, you know? Mm. But then, see, that's probably more my vibe, but I don't think it looks as nice on the screen as the other one did. Um, that one or that one. I'll give her that one. I feel like she looks prettier with it and I'm trying to, you know, make her look cute at least. Now I need to turn this off a little bit. Hold on. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. That was quite something. Voice too, for sure. It was wonderful. I believe I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. I am indeed a student, but I could... A few cobwebs of... It was wonderful. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna give her quite a high, high pitch voice because I feel like sometimes, because I feel like it's cute. I feel like it's cute. Um, you know what? Okay, I think I actually might go easy because I am not very 
comfortable with playing video games because it's kind of new to me so if i find it too easy maybe i can come back and change it just to normal or maybe i can just play it again on different levels once i've completed it easy but i feel like that would probably be best um name your character oh well i'm obviously going to name her after me aren't i so there we go we'll do my first and last name katie Brilliant. Already there for me. Perfecto. <laughs> Katie Wotton. Witch or wizard. I'll be a witch. And start your journey. Let's go. It's me. How exciting. So character selection is complete. Ah, it appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, you know I'm me? quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me before time began. Oh! <laughs> Eleazar! George! Glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theatergoers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Mm. Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea! As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Ages since I've been to the castle. I can't oh, help. Good to see the old pile of rocks. your traveling companion a new student new yes sir I'm starting school as a fifth year how extraordinary it is indeed none of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late nor have I of course as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> have you seen this? I like Professor Fig. It's giving me good vibes. I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. 
It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl. But with no correspondence, I can only assume... That she had to get rid of it quickly. To keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. Goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Merlin's beard. How did you wait? We did. It's Wigan World Potion. That stuff will write you in a second. Wigan World Potion. What happened? Poor George. I can't believe he... What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage mid-air? A typical dragon would dragon never. Be crazy, or... Professor. <sighs> Sir. <sighs> where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key. An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. I'm feeling better, sir. If you'd like to look around a bit. Let's have a look with more. I would. But stay close. We've no idea who created this port key. Yeah, why are we here? Or why? Okay, so we appear to be in almost like a cave, I'm thinking. Seriously, look at the graphics on this screen, that is insane. How far the hell? can that key take us? Farther from London than the carriage travelled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. Sir, those ruins. Oh my do you god. The was meant to lead us there. I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But not. Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she. And now George died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. Right, let's explore. Ancient magic? Yes. 
A powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. Hogwarts Castle was built by and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, oh, there's the path down below. This way. But, sir, why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Wise words, wise words. This place is that crazy. Ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Well, we've got to get through. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Focus on the center. Basic cast, the new spell will not tap R2 to it. Okay. Get it, Katie. Get it. Excellent. Use your camera R to select an active target. Some players prefer to select targets and move the avatar with the same stick by disabling camera relative targeted in a second. Okay. I think that's just like a helpful tidbit. Whoa, that was a that bit cool. rougher than I'd expected. Oh, what's happening here? Why is this? This is okay. Something. Why is this pot lit up? Okay, they're just. I'm just smashing things up for the sake of it. Why not? If you're a wizard, you do the same, right? <laughs> It's fun though if they're just doing spells, like I'm not even doing anything but smashing them, it's just fun. Like, maybe that's just me. Steady yourself! Damn, it's windy as hell. Repair privacy. That port key led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. Anything that seems out of place. The mini-map shows your surroundings with you in the middle. This is your current objective. Press and hold the up to toggle quest the objective details. Okay. Interesting. So if I press this, path to Hogwarts, press a big line of child mode. Okay. Ah, oh, okay, cool. Well, anyways, I should be going this way, shouldn't I? Is that telling me to go up? I feel like it's telling me to go up. How do I get there though? There's not a door there. Okay, maybe I need to go investigate. Professor. 
It's a mural of some kind. Hmm. Perhaps our host was a noted seer. Interesting. This is where my not being great at video games comes into practice because I need to get somewhere and I don't there to get there. Maybe I need to go out and around. But possibly investigate this. Professor, this statue. This may have been his home. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Crazy, like, what we'll even eat this place? I'm literally just like smashing everything up with one of that I can. I, it's, it's fun, it is fun. If you've played this game, please tell me why it's so fun because it is. That enchanted crystallized stone again, but what could it be blocking? Okay, we found our way to What's this? Ooh. What is this? What is this? Yo, Professor Big, come look. That's How crazy. Odd. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again. Like the glow on the port key container. Interact with magic. What in Merlin's name? Wake up the hard. goblin. Oh, good lord. Where are we? I'm scared. I don't believe it. Are we in green lots? No, it looks like green lots though. Vibes for sure. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> it can't be. Uh, just a moment. <laughs> I presume. <clears throat> Precisely. The key? Mm -hmm. Your wife's port key. Oh, yes, of course. This way, then. Stay close. This is so cool. This is so cool. After you. Uh, keep your hands inside the cart if you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> How many volts are there in Green Box? Hundreds. In fact, 
You'll see quite a few on our way to vault number 12. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The vaults you see now are the newest. Oh, our private entrances to the bank, common and great. They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power, or both, could have arranged for such a service. You'll want to take a breath. A what? That waterfall washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We have quite a distance to go. This is crazy. I wish whenever I went to the bank I had to go on a road like this to get my money. <laughs> Actually, I don't know. It'll take a long time. But it's cool still. Vault number. He looks pleasant. Vault 12. Momentous day! <laughs> hmm. On you, Wayne. <laughs> the graphics are so cool. <laughs> Like the glow you saw on the porky container? No, darker. I saw that same glow on the dragon's collar. Yeah, what was that? We were just wondering about that goblin back there. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. Suspicious. I wonder what his involvement could be with the, with the goblin. Here we are. When was the last time this vault was accessed? A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12. Until today. Yes, I wonder what the hell is going to be in this vault. Vault 12. Thank you for your help. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Goblin. The vault is stunning though. Okay, I was having a little bit of a whirl around with money, so... I feel that like you just have to spend time appreciating all the hard work that's been put into this game. What been looking for? I'm not sure. So, I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait. I'm sorry, has this goblin just <clears throat> left us in here? That was certainly unexpected. Let me think. There must be something here. Hmm. Revelio, yes, use Revelio. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. Okay, let's go. Oh my god, wow, I mean... symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to... I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw in the portkey container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. Lumos! Okay. Oh, 
This is, this is no ordinary vault. Scary blades. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. Wait, can I loom off too? Rebellion. Just double checking. There's nothing in there. I could do the loom off myself though. I see something up ahead. What is it? That glow again. A glow. Okay, we're obsessed with the glows here. I'm enjoying this so much. What do I do though with this? Investigate, let's go. Oh. What's happening? What happened? There are when figures I in the hall. Suddenly it seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you alright? Oh. Yes, sir, I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue. What statue? I yeah. see some sort of statue, but it only is a reflection in the floor. Rebellion. I presume this is what you saw oh. reflected in the floor. Yes. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait. When you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. You've acquired the wand lighting charm, Lumos, which has automatically been slotted to your spell set. Lumos creates a light at the, at the tip of your wand to help you see in dark areas. Honestly, it's so helpful. Ta hold R2 and tap to cast or extinguish the wand. Lumos. Well done. Now the reflection is turning towards me. It does follow the light. Weird. Mm -hmm. Discover the statue secret, okay. So, what am I looking for here? So... Yeah, don't worry about it, Nick. I'm not. 
<laughs> I'm not leaving you in this situation. Though. What is happening with the old one? We've got the blue one that we have. Okay, over there it's pitch black, so that's obvious. Professor? Professor Fink? Hmm? Professor, where are you? This isn't good. Oh no. Where is he? Where am I supposed to go? Where am I supposed to go? What's happening? The wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. Oh, magic is being kind to me. Oh, for God's sake, it's more of this. Oh, that's why they're leading me. That glow again. Oh no. Good, we're starting with more this time. Three. I suppose I'm on my own this time. Yeah. Where has Fig gone when you need him the most, man? Like, what's that? What's this? Galleons, brilliant. It's not going to help me here, though, is it? I need okay. to align these statues with their reflections. Tago to stun enemies. Stupid for the counter attack. Stun enemies take extra damage in the painting. Cool. Okay. Still on full health. This is stressful, guys. Honestly, okay. I'm in the dark Goodness. again. Find Professor Fig. Okay, where is Professor Fig? It's a very good question. Let the magic leave lead me.
Revenia. Still in Ringoff. This is crazy. Where the hell? Hello. Are you there? Hello. Professor Fig? Yes. Godric, I'm glad you're all right. Possibly. We're I'm wrong, somehow yeah. back in the entry room. Again, this place is stunning, though. I don't see a way to open the door. The there must be something. I'll keep people. looking over here. did you... What is this place? I don't know. But I found this floating above the basin. That is no mere basin. It's a pensive. That is a pensive for viewing memories. Pensive. I wonder... Honestly, Professor Fig is giving me the little volume to finish. I wonder. It's very... Follow my lead. Too well. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the ritual wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We were it all rather rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in here. I was right. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. <coughs> uh, sir, they had the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... 
I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have them. I have no patience for traitors. Now, where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. I'm gonna leave part one there and then you can go and watch part two which will be up on my channel really soon and it's gonna pick up where this video has left off so if you'd like to see some more Hogwarts Legacy gameplay it will be continued in part two but I really hope you enjoyed part one if you did please drop a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already comment down below if you've played Hogwarts Legacy and I'll see you in the next one bye guys <laughs>